What's going on everybody? This is Big Pimpin coming at you with 4th Key TV Sports 2011 Mock Draft. I'm here with Big Boss Bobby. We're going to give you our 2011 Mock Draft. We got number one on the clock. We got Carolina. I'm going to, I'm going to go on ahead and say that they're going to take Cam Newton. They're going to try to trade out of this pick, but nobody's going to do it because nobody wants to move up and they're not sure what they really want. Who do you got there? And, you know, I mean, uh, Cam Newton... I wouldn't take him because I think he's going to be just like Jamarcus Russell all over again. So I would go with the best defensive player. And the best defensive tackle right there is uh, Marcel Darius. The defense wins championships, so you can't go wrong. Not a bad pick. I think they're going to try to trade it, but I think they're going to get stuck with it. So you're going with Darius, I'm going with Newton. Number two, Denver's got the number two slot. I think that they're... Defense, they're short on defense too, and they're going to go with the best defensive player. I'm going to go with Marcel Darius out of Bama there. Big D tackle for that line. Doomerville comes back. Explosive defensive line. All right, well, I'm going to go a little off the board here. I mean, I'm, I'm going to take the best player available, and that's uh, Patrick Peterson. I like this guy. Pick. This guy's a stud. I mean, he, he's an unbelievable player. And uh, I, I like it. I like Peterson too there. Peterson and Bailey would be phenomenal. Okay, we'll move and then on. you got two you got two shut down corners. I agree. No, I agree. We'll move on to number three, Buffalo. This is another pick that can go any way that they want. But I'm going to go on ahead with my surprise pick here, and I think they're going to go with the quarterback. I think they're going to put the end to Ryan Fitzpatrick. Probably play him <laughs> half the year and go with Blaine Gabbert. I agree with you there. I, I like what I've seen from him. I really I really like his character, and he looks like he's got a good head on his shoulders. Unlike Cam Newton. Well, Gabbert over Newton, huh? That's right. Okay, we'll move on to number four. Now, this is a very questioning pick here. I mean, what can Cincinnati do? Carson Palmer is going to retire. T.O. possibly out of town. Ocho Cinco wants out. So I'm going to go on ahead and say A.J. Green, the best supposedly game receiver in the draft this year. This guy could have been the number one draft pick last year. So I, I, can't, I can't disagree with that. And he is, he is the best wide receiver by far. A.J. Green it is, huh? The no-brainer pick. Consensus, A.J. Green with Big Boss Bobby. Yep. Number five, Arizona. This is another tricky pick. They could go quarterback, too. They could surprise you. I mean, I'm going to say that, but I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, Von Miller out there on the board, they need to touch up their defense a little bit. This guy can play possibly defensive end, Lamar Woodley-type player. Uh, I think Von Miller's the pick there. I think it's, it's a safe pick. Yeah, I, I like that pick, too. And he's got, he's got the speed where he can play anywhere. Oh, yeah, and the size, too. Okay, so we agree on that one. Number seven, or number six, Cleveland here. The Cleveland Browns. This is where I put take Patrick Peterson off the board. I think they did it last year with Hayden. Now they got Peterson. Two young, shut them down corners. Peterson could possibly play safety if need be with his size. So uh, that upgrades that defense. That's, that's a great pick at that point, but it's amazing to me that Patrick Peterson isn't gone in the, in the top five. But I, I would go with Robert Quinn, defensive, defensive end, North Carolina. I like him. Styles, they need some defensive line there, too. I definitely, I, they could go that route. If uh, Peterson's gone, they could go that route. How about this one? Here's another question mark. San Francisco at number seven. They they'd seem to need a quarterback. I mean, they, they seem to need a quarterback, but I'm going to yeah, go Alex with Prince. Smith hasn't cut it. No, Alex Smith has not cut it, but I'm passing over the quarterback here, and they they got to take Prince Akamara here. I mean, the stud corner. You're, not, you're just not going to see corners like him on the board available at this time being 4-3 something speed, 4-4, four, four, low 4-4s, four, supposedly one of the better corners in the game. So we'll I, I like that pick a lot, and San Francisco does need a shutdown corner, but I think this is where the uh, opportune time would be to take Cam Newton. you got Jim Harbaugh there. He can show him how to play quarterback. He played quarterback himself. Quarterback's coach, yep. That's, that could be a good pick there. This one right here, Tennessee at number eight. This is this is a this is a steal of the draft for me right here. I think that uh, they lost Hansworth a couple years ago. It's time to replace them. The defense hasn't been the same since. Nick Fairley, Auburn, coming off the board, explosive pass rusher, explosive run stopper. Can't beat oh, yeah, that no, pick. No question about that. And he he's definitely he's a top five pick also. But he he didn't do well in the combine. So they dropped but him down a little bit. Since, Possible yeah. number one all the way up till the last week or two. Yeah, but he, he was probably one of the top three players in college football last year. Oh, yeah. No, we'll move on to Dallas at number nine. This is a question mark here. A lot of people have a lot of different things, but I'm going to go on ahead and say that uh, 
their line's getting older, and I, I think Tyron Smith is my pick there out of USC. He's supposedly graded out as the best tackle. He's got the size and the speed, left tackle potential. They need to get you there. Well, there's no question about that. Dallas, Dallas offensive line was pathetic at times last year and couldn't protect Romo. So you, you Tyron so I, Smith? So I would go with Tyron Smith, too. Okay. And he comes from Southern Cal, and uh, they have proven players in the NFL. Yeah, I agree, and it's a good system. He can sit for a year if he has to. It's not like they have to throw him right under the bus at left tackle. They can start him out at right. Well, here you go, number 10, Washington. Keep it in the same conference. I'm going to say that they take Julio Jones. They are so desperate for a big size bodied wide receiver, and Julio Jones has got the whole package. Ran two four, sub, sub four fours, 40s in the, in the combine there. Got the speed on a broken foot. 6'4, oh. 220 pounds, possible steal right there. This kid, this kid is very impressive. I agree, possible steal. And he was one of the best high school players. And when he was no, at Alabama, he made. He made some great plays. Oh, yeah. He's got the size, the speed. Absolutely. Just proven hands and everything else. He's got, he's got the potential of this right here, Andre Johnson. Possibility. Yeah, Calvin Johnson comes to mind for me there, too. Well, this is um, that's our mock draft 1 through 10. We're going to come at you with another picks 11 through 20 here in another segment. This is Big Pimpin' coming at you. And Big Boss Bobby, 4th Key TV. Peace.